Let me just start this video by telling you one thing that most people do not seem to understand, which is companies are not your friends. They are just here for the same thing that most of us are. Most of us, not all of course, which is money, money, money. If they can sell a product at a higher price, at a higher value and have a higher margin of profit, they will. Doesn't matter if they have 30, 40, 200 or 1000 percent margin of profit. If they can have 1001 percent, they'll do it. That's how it works. Nvidia has been doing it for years. AMD has been doing it for some years, uh, as long as they can pull it out, of course. But that also comes with the other side, which is when someone offers a better product at the same price, well, you're forced to make your prices lower. And just because of that, I'm gonna leave you with today's sponsor. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall, bringing you all the software deals you need, like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2021 with a new Windows 11 design, and even Windows Server 2022. For all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 25% off, getting a Windows 10 serial key for only $16. Then use the key on your Windows settings, and you'll have an activated system. And with the recent benchmarks of the RTX 4070 Super being released and the 4070 Ti Super being released in some days as well, well, we saw that the 4070 Super is really close to the 4070 Ti that in most scenarios is more or less on par with the 7900 XT. And with the 4070 Super being at the same MSRP as the 4070, I, I'm not telling you that you'll be able to buy those cards at those prices, of course, but at least it is at the same MSRP, meaning that the 4070 Super should decrease in price um, well as as time passes by and the 4070 super should be costing the same as the 4070 is costing nowadays you teasing me you naughty naughty <laughs> And that means that Nvidia will have a card almost as powerful as the 7900 XT, let's say 15%, uh, in between 15% performance difference, that performs better in terms of general ray tracing, has better upscaling the LSS, has more games with frame generation, and on top of that, consumes less power. So AMD once again is obligated to decrease prices, and that just happened. The 7900 XT MSRP is $899 and we can currently get them on Newegg for $709, so basically $200 below, almost $200 below the MSRP and I can just say that it will continue to drop. And with more cards of the Super lineup being launched, the RDNA 3 prices or the RX 7000 series prices will continue to drop for the 7800 XT that is now slower than the RTX 4070 Super in rasterization and much slower in terms of ray tracing while consuming the same power or sometimes even more. And of course, if it follows the MSRP even close to it uh, at the same price, so AMD once again has to decrease prices. We also have news about the RX 7900 GRE that according to AMD is also getting a price cut to $549 which is considerably lower than what it is now. So I bought my 7900 GRE for around 700 euros so I do believe that it will decrease at least to 600, 600 and something euros so it's a nice decrease and the 7900 XT should be decreasing to let's say 750 euros more or less depending on the country of course. So just to conclude this short video, all I have to say is wait. Wait because AMD will decrease prices across all, all their cards, across all their cards of the RDNA 3 architecture, RX 7000 series. The prices will decrease even further because once again, more super cards will be released. Even the older non-super cards from Nvidia will get price cuts because they have to if the super lineup is being released at the same MSRP as the previous generation and is faster. It is obvious that the cards from the previous generation uh, will have price cuts. It won't be immediate because that's not how the market works nowadays, sadly, but once again, they will decrease. So if you're buying, if you're aiming to buy a new card right now, just wait wait because it will be worth it you'll have cheaper cards uh, and a way 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 better price performance ratios since the super lineup is being released and we'll have the rx 7000 series and the non-super lineup of the 4000 series having their prices decreased meaning that you can once again buy cheaper cards that perform the same
And well, guys, that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. This video wasn't really much of doesn't really have much of information it is just me basically telling you that the price has decreased a bit already so you can buy already the 7900 xt and the 7900 gre way cheaper you can do it yeah, and my cat is going into my table my desk yeah uh and on top of that the other the other cards of the lineup will get their price cut as well because once again the 4070 super is faster than the 7800 xt and will supposedly cost the same so amd needs to cut the 7800 XT's price um, and the same will happen as soon as the 4070 Ti Super gets released because once again it will definitely be faster than the 7900 XT because it will be really close to the 4080 meaning once again that will be faster than the 7900 uh, than the 7900 XT sorry in terms of of rasterization it will be considerably faster in terms of ray tracing and it will still consume less power than the 7900 XT so they will have to cut those prices as well, the same for the 7700 XT as soon as, let's say, the 4060 Super gets released, and so on, so on, so on. So, if you're aiming to buy specially something in the top tier of the 7000 series, or if you're aiming to buy a 4070 Super, or a 4070 Ti, 4070, just wait, because the prices will get better. Thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. I'm currently working on the RX 7800 XT versus the 7900 GRE versus the RTX 4070. I still don't have the RTX 4070 Super because once again, nobody, nobody, not a single brand sends me cards before they get released. And even after they get released, it is hard for me to, to be able to keep the cards, which is a bummer because I, I do lots of retests like I did now with Avatar, Marvel, Spider-Man and so on. So I need to have the cards here uh, in order to be tested as soon as I want them to be tested. Uh, but nobody sends me any any kind of cards, otherwise I would be doing the 7800 XT versus 7900 GRE versus the 4070 Super. For now... We'll need to get the 47, the, 40, the normal 4070 card that I also bought some time ago, and the 7900 GRE card that I also bought this month. So a lot of investment. So I hope you actually watch the video. Thank you very much for watching once again, and see you in the next one. Cheers.